Five Nights at Freddy's Paw Patrol These worldwide phenomenons have made a huge impact on people's lives. They even faced each other on this show. Starting with their fan favorites, and then going to war. But now, it's time for their leaders to engage in a final battle to the finish. Freddy Fazbear, the haunted animatronic. And Chase, the police pup. Now hold on everyone. Mr. Wave won't be doing this alone. I'm Clea Kortsaras, the host of Mini Arena, and I will be co-hosting and helping with the analysis of today's battle. To make this fight as interesting as possible, we will be compositing the fighters. This means that Freddy will receive abilities from all his spin-offs, like FNAF World, and Freddy in Space. And Chase will have access to all his pup packs, superpowers, and vehicles. Now let's get started. So which of these two is the overall most powerful? We will find out today, as well as who will survive in this final face-off. In 1983, a business was opened. This business was called Fred Bear's Family Diner. A place for pizza, games, and entertainment. However, William Afton, the owner of the restaurant, left his kids unattended, which led to the younger one getting his head crushed by Fred Bear. After the kid died, the restaurant got shut down, and a new one was needed. And along came Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, a magical place for kids and grown-ups alike, where fantasy and fun come to life. Of course, this pizzeria needed some mascots. And these mascots needed a leader. And so came along the lead singer of the band, Freddy Fazbear. Freddy is an animatronic bear who was designed to entertain children and make them happy. However, one day, a group of children was led to the back room and murdered. The souls of these children began to possess the animatronics, including Freddy. Every night since then, Freddy and the other robots roam the restaurant, searching for their killer. Unfortunately, they seem to mistake every person they see at night for the killer. As it turns out, their killer was William Afton himself, who became the purple guy. To make things clear, Freddy Fazbear is not a bad guy, he just gets confused sometimes. Now, let's get to his abilities. Freddy is very stealthy for his size. He's able to sneak around and hide in the shadows to surprise attack his enemies. He also has the ability to teleport short distances, and has great night vision. He's capable of manipulating his victim's vision and attacks with a killer jump scare. He then finishes his opponent by stuffing them in a robotic suit. He also has a ton of weapons to use. In the FNAF World game, he is able to use pizza, cupcakes, and his microphone for projectile attacks. He can use the fourth wall attack and escape key to break through an opponent's defense. The birthday move increase his stats. The sludge attack and gloom song decrease an enemy's speed and attack for a short period of time. He can also heal himself, and use an amp attack to electrocute his enemies. Alright, the next section includes Freddy in space, and the AR forms. Care to take this one Clea Accord? Of course, Wave. In the Freddy in space games, Freddy is equipped with an energy gun with various properties. He is able to fire beam attacks and perform a laser slide. He is also able to jump several meters, as well as breathe in space and underwater. Freddy can also heal himself with pizza and cupcakes, temporarily become invincible, dodge lasers, and even kill ghosts. Now let's get to his energy gun. This weapon is capable of destroying this large boulder. Comparing it to Freddy's size, we can see that destroying it requires 8.97 tons of TNT. This gun also has a variety of elemental abilities. Shock Strike activates a series of lightning strikes. Meteor Rain unleashes a shower of falling meteors, the Amoeba Blaster poisons enemies, and the Black Hole Launcher shoots a black hole that causes severe damage. Freddy is also capable of piloting a spacecraft. And now, it's time to get to his various forms. Freddy has a lot of forms to take in battle. We already covered his base form, but the others have their own abilities. Freddy's Frost Bear form has manipulation over ice, being able to freeze his opponents. He also carries an icicle that he can use on his enemies. There is also Black Ice Frost Bear, who is equipped with an ice spear. Then there's Firework Freddy, who is able to use a large firework on his foes, but he only carries one. Finally, there's his Nightmare form. Nightmare Freddy has a demonic appearance with large fangs and claws. He is also accompanied by miniature Freddy monsters called Freddles. Freddy's abilities are truly off the charts. 
Thanks Cleocord. So with all that being said, Freddy isn't without his flaws. He may have a wide arsenal and various abilities, but he's possessed by a child, and is an old animatronic that can be destroyed easily if he is caught off guard. Overall, Freddy Fazbear is a possessed animatronic bear with a killer instinct. He has numerous ways of torturing his victims, manipulating stats, and using a varied arsenal with tons of forms. While he may be able to heal himself, he is still an old animatronic, and can be caught off guard. Now hold on tight, cause it's after hours, and you're in for one hell of an adventure. <laughs> On the streets of Adventure City, a young German Shepherd pup was abandoned, forced to fight for survival. This pup roamed the streets all alone and was nearly hit by a truck, but he was saved by a young boy, and raised to be one of the greatest officers of all time. This is Chase the Police Pup. Chase is a German Shepherd pup, his occupation for the Paw Patrol is being second in command, a police and super spy pup. His job is to protect the innocent from harm and keep the town of Adventure Bay safe. Chase does this with his various skills and abilities. Chase has a powerful sense of smell that allows him to track down anything. Though, he's a little allergic to cats, feathers, and dust. Chase is also able to communicate with owls and beavers. And being a German Shepherd, Chase likely has a bite force of 238 PSI. But these skills aren't the only things Chase uses. Ryder is very inventive, so he built various pup packs and vehicles for Chase to use on missions. Chase's normal pup pack contains a spotlight, megaphone, tennis ball cannon, and net. Chase's tennis ball cannon can actually shoot anything that fits inside it, including corn, baseballs, and rocks. Not to mention that his net is strong enough to stop a moving truck. Chase's normal vehicle is a police car that contains traffic cones and a winch. It can also fire projectiles such as pies, boulders, gusts of wind, and snowballs. When Chase is in need of a power boost, he can absorb the energy of a meteor to become Mighty Chase. As a mighty pup, he can run near the speed of light, deploy energy nets, and after he becomes charged up, he can unleash a sonic bark, which is strong enough to launch a falling meteor back into space. Speaking of which, let's let Clay Accord handle the calculations. Thanks again, Wave. As stated, Chase is able to travel at light speed in his mighty pup form, but the power behind it is insane. I did some calculations to figure out how powerful Chase's hypersonic bark truly is. First, I compared the size of this falling meteor to Chase, and it turns out that this meteor should be around 72.42 meters. It took Chase's hypersonic bark 1.3 seconds to reach the meteor, and bounce it back into space. Given the meteor's size, this feat would require at least 8.6 megatons of TNT. Do you know what this means? Chase's hypersonic bark is 8,600 times more powerful than the atomic bomb that dropped on Hiroshima. I am shocked that a puppy from a kid's show can pull this off. But that's not even the craziest thing he's done. Chase and the Paw Patrol have even once teamed up with a group of characters from different franchises to climb Paramount Mountain. Including the likes of SpongeBob SquarePants, Bumblebee, the kids from South Park, Samara Morgan from The Ring, and even the Master Chief from Halo. And now, it's time to get to Chase's various pup packs. His Super Spy Pup Pack has a tennis ball launcher, a zip line, and a flashlight that doubles as a megaphone. In the movie, Chase's first pup pack also has a grappling hook. His scuba gear also has a flashlight. His flight pack has a glider for air-based rescues. His Rescue Knights pack has some of the same properties as his base pack. He also has a mare pup form that allows him to breathe underwater. Now, it's time for his vehicles. His spy vehicle has an ejector seat, a spy drone, a winch, and off-road wheels. It also has a computer and satellite dish that are used to control the spy drone. His three-wheeler can propel a landing pad. His patrol boat is able to travel on land and water. His mighty vehicle can deploy energy nets, and fly. His rescue jet has a stealth mode, which allows it to travel undetected, and also has launchers. Chase also has a dinosaur rescue vehicle, a race car, a motorcycle, and even a large truck. But Chase's vehicle from the movie is a high-tech car with a net launcher, protective armor, and a motorcycle that can drive up buildings. It's amazing how wide of an arsenal this puppy has. 
Thank you Clay Accord. Now Chase is an extremely powerful pup, but he has some major weaknesses. He isn't usually one for fighting, and has always had his friends by his side on most of his missions. Not to mention he can only use one pup pack or vehicle at once. Chase also tends to have some self-doubt problems. He became a leader in less than a day, and after making a few mistakes, he doubted himself so badly, he suggested that someone else should be the leader. But in the end, he accepted his role as leader and proved to be the best police dog there is. Overall, Chase is a police pup with tons of rescue skills. He has a wide variety of pup packs, vehicles, and abilities to use on his missions. Most of these items have similar properties, and have unique extra uses. While he's not much of a fighter and tends to have self-doubt problems, he is willing to do whatever it takes to complete his mission. Ready for action, Ryder, sir. Alright. Let's get ready for combat. This battle will take place throughout the multiverse, and there is no prep time. With all that being said, it's time to begin this final face-off.
This battle was a literal headache, GIF. Freddy doesn't really stand a chance when only given his base game feats. But giving Freddy abilities from all his spin-offs makes him more powerful and durable than before, being able to keep up with giant robotic monsters. But that doesn't change the fact that Chase was far more powerful. Chase's power output of 8,600 megatons was extremely impressive. Especially when compared to Freddy's 9-ton feet. But Freddy's wide arsenal of ray guns and blasters were far more effective than most of Chase's tools. Chase's gear may be more versatile, but he mainly uses them for rescue missions and rarely for combat. True, Chase arguably has much more gear, but Freddy also has ways to power through Chase's durability with moves like the escape key and the fourth wall. Though, I know that some of you are wondering one thing. What good are Freddy's abilities if he can't even hit the pup? Isn't Chase way too fast for him? Well, yes and no. It's true that Freddy isn't able to travel as fast as Chase, but Freddy is able to dodge laser fire. A feat that would require faster than light reaction speed. So Freddy can't travel as fast as Chase, but he can react quick enough to dodge his attacks. So with reaction speed like that, it was only a matter of time before the bear tagged the pup with a fatal blow. But again, Chase's arsenal is far larger. Can he just outlast Freddy? True, Chase's arsenal is larger, and he has a wide variety of gear and vehicles. However, the problem is that he can only use one of each at a time. Not to mention that besides his durability hexes, Freddy also had lots of elemental effects to use. For example, he could use Shock Strike to electrocute Chase, the Amoeba Blaster to poison him, trap him in a black hole, and even temporarily turn himself invincible. So long story short. Chase definitely had enough power to destroy Freddy, but the animatronic bear also had a counter for practically everything the pup could throw at him. Yes. Not to mention that Freddy has four times as much experience, and has ways to sneak up on Chase if they end up in a dark area. Chase was obviously faster, more powerful, and had a much bigger arsenal. But he couldn't compete with Freddy's experience, more effective weapons, and overwhelming hexes. Chase just couldn't keep his head in the game. The winner is Freddy Fazbear. Where am I hiding? Who am I? Well, some things are better left unspoken. <laughs> I can, however, tell you that I caused every horrifying thing that has ever happened here. <laughs> <laughs>